Well, all of your promises. Emmanuel just spoke about consistency, persistency, and this is one of these things where you want to do something, then all of a sudden, everything will be moving differently. But hey, yeah, we are tasso. Baby, I met me in the Pedro over 60 people. Nina blocking. But we are back again, starting again. And know what I mean? Just continue to share the program. Um, let more people hear that. Tell them we are back again. Um, and so they shouldn't give up. Everybody that you have sent this stream to, please do it again. And let people come and enjoy themselves in the presence of the Lord. Once again, this is Gospel Single Review UK with the host of our guest and Abuaji. Today, my guest for this afternoon, of course, is Minister Akosia Dankwa. And so God bless you so much for staying tuned and coming back again. Mommy Gladys, come on, God bless you. We are back, says Mauli Kresi. Well, the song at the background is coming from Minister Akosia Danko. Ima, now you heard the song. Talk to me. What is your take on this song? Then I'll, I'll let you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. We were even talking backstage, Pastor Justin. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. He says, Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Yes, so for the fact that the song is talking about he is a covenant-keeping God, and this scripture is telling us that your labor is not in vain, it tells you he is indeed a covenant-keeping God. Mm. Mm. He is ye and amen. Mm. Whatever he says, he does it. Mm. Amen. But for he to do, we have something to do for he to do. What are we doing for he to do? He's a covenant keeping God back. What are we doing for him to keep his covenant? Yeah. Are we seeking him enough for him to keep his covenant? When you read Matthew 6, he says, seek ye first and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you though indeed he is a covenant keeping god we also have a part to play woman right. of god god bless you so much for this great speech it's, it's very powerful very powerful indeed thank you very much emmanuel thank you so much there's you are into music you sing as well and what is your take on this great piece of music I mean, the music is, there's no, you can't even barter whether it's good or bad. This is a, mm. a song that's just purely the truth. God mm. is good. He's faithful. He never changes. And mm. like our brother said, that God, he is consistent. I mm. think the common denominator of failure is man because God never changes. God mm. never, he's immovable. He's consistent. And the word of God says, Deuteronomy 7, um, verse 9, it says, Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is, fa he is a faithful God. He is the faithful God, keeping mm. his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commandments. Let's even say that we want to limit God, which we can never do as men or women. Or, or, or women. Mm. For a thousand generations, a generation is what, from 1 to 70 or 80 years each time, so for a thousand generations onwards, so are we my are God. we really telling God that it's us? My God. That's, that's consistent. No, it's because God mm. is consistent. And the factor there is God being consistent and you agreeing to what he is saying and keeping and sticking to it as Emmanuel shared on Motivational mm. Corner. I'm really encouraged by the word today. My God. Everything is just seamless and I believe that this is the doom of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Having said that, I want to put you on the spot. Host this program mm. for five, ten minutes for me. Host the program for five, ten minutes for me. Ask minister any question you want to ask her, and I'll be right back in HFA watching you from behind. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, the host for this show now is Desiree Kwabi. Let it flow. What, wow. what a pressure, but the God's grace is available. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is a whole shot, but we're going to enjoy ourselves here. No matter what happens, we're going to do this together. So first and foremost, I just want to thank you once again um, to our Minister Akosia. Thank you so much for staying on board with us. Ravi Ima, you're my, my, my partner in this one. <laughs> I'm your co-host. Don't worry. <laughs> yes, yes, please, my co-host. So Sister Akosia, our Minister Akosia, thank you once again. Um, you know, I'm sure um, Pastor Gosson has so many questions, but I was actually curious as to what you said about going from the UK. You mentioned something about the UK and um, going to America. What inspired the move and where, where did you all start? Where did it all start for you? Okay, so um, I grew up in Ghana. Um, after high school, um, I, uh, I moved to the United Kingdom for um, university. Um, you know, uh, to further my education at university. So I actually uh, enrolled in the University of East London where I studied business administration. And that's where I graduated from um, uh, several years ago. I don't want to say it's for people to know how old I am. <laughs> but yes, I lived in, I lived in London. And um, uh, after, even after university, I, I stayed on, um, you know, in London for a while before moving to, um, America. I got married, you know, um, and moved to the United States. So, um, let me go back. While in London, um, I fellowshiped at, uh, Calvary Charismatic, um, uh, center, uh, by Bishop, um, led by Bishop, um, Francis Sapon. And I was in the choir, you know, minding my own business. But God has plans for each and every one of us. I, for a long time, was a backer. I would just stay in the back and, you know, do what I have to do. But the time came where the opportunity was given to myself and some other people who had been, you know, backing for a while. So we started leading worship. And 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 that's where my worship ministry blossomed, you know. Um, and then I moved when I moved to the United States. I joined um, Feed Family Ministries under um, Reverend Dr. Eric Clark. Um, I worked under our worship um, pastor, uh, pa Pastor McDonald Asumeni, for a while, um, and for about ten years actually. That's where I served. Um, and then God reconnected me to, after 10 years, God reconnected me to my um, father in the Lord, Reverend Sam Pranchyankra. So, yeah, so I, I um, uh, moved, you know, I, I um, was led to um, go to Royal House, um, Breakthrough Center, where I served under Bishop, um, Reverend Jeffrey Tutu and his wife, Mama Esther. And, you know, speaking of that, I just want to thank them so much for their inputs in my life. And everyone, Reverend Dr. Eric Clark, Reverend Sam Pranchyankra, they've been great, great, great mentors. Great mentors. So um, I am who I am today because of all these people who actually, you know, um, uh, uh, poured into my life and my ministry. So I, I thank God for their lives. I honor them you know today well i mean this this is what you call a journey because you started from one country you're like taking over territories in different ways through university through school growing getting married and for a young woman or a young man even that has probably been looking at themselves like oh i'm just a backer i mean maybe your intention wasn't really to even you know minister publicly as a sole um, leader so to speak but when somebody or a leader, for example, has called you to say, come and lead this thing, how, how did you feel first and foremost? And how did you overcome to get to this place that you are now? You know, um, whenever I remember those days, whenever I was called upon to come and lead, oh, I would get butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about it, <laughs> you know, and there was one time I was praying about it. I was like, God, why is this? Why is this? And why this fear? And then I would quote, God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of, goodness and of you know, and, and it, it was, it wasn't because of fear, but it was because I was a stickler for perfection. Mm. But then as I was speaking to God, God asked me, who are you perfecting this for? Is it for me or for you? 
Wow. You know, that is where the anxiety comes in. But, yeah. but then as I, you know, spoke to the, the, the Lord and the Holy Spirit kept ministering to me, it got to a point when, when I'm called upon, my focus is God. So mm. I don't even see people. There are times when I'm ministering, I have no idea what's going on around me. You know, all mm -hmm. I see is God. My focus yeah. is God. He's the one I'm exalting. I I may see people, you know, but my spirit, my mind, everything is focused on God. On God yeah. That was where things changed for me. Mm. You know, so I'm, and and I'll encourage every worship every worship minister when the focus is God, mm. why fear? Why be anxious? Right. Just flow. Amen. You know, I can attest to that. I don't know if Emmanuel's had stories from um, his wife Josephine, who is my dear sister, and bless God for her life. I remember I I relate to this so much, and I'm laughing because I used to be in this place where. I'll be called to come and lead praise and worship at like 16 or 17. Nobody will be in the choir. There's a ring. Take the mic and go sing. Hey, <laughs> I was sweating. And then at a point, I was regularly leading. And before we would pray, before we go on to, um, to minister and enter into a time of worship, and, and uh, just, I would cry and I'd cry and I'd cry. And that's because the self was activated. Myself was, Thank you. I was thinking about how I felt. Not knowing yeah. that actually it's not about you. You're just right. a vessel. Because at, at the end of the day, the people won't be seeing you. It's what mm -hmm. God will do for you. So I totally, I relate to that so much. Um, I wanted to talk about, because when I was researching you a few weeks ago, you know, I came up with, with your single, Yahweh. Then I also saw another song that you had um, from last year or two years ago called Enkonye Yo Yehovah. I don't yes. know that I'm so please forgive me. That's all right. And tell me where it all came from, and if you can please give a translation also. Sure, sure. So, M. Kwenye Yehovah was actually my first single. Uh, that's you see that anytime I mention it, people ask me, "Are you an Ewe?" But I, I am not an Ewe, and I'll tell you the story behind this this um song. I was going through a time in my life. Um, it was pretty rough. There were things, you know, that were not going the way that I wanted them to go. Mm. And there was one morning I was in my car driving to work. And, you know, I, from where I live to my workplace, driving during rush hour is like about an hour. So I was in the car just praying, just praying deeply, you know, and then... All of a sudden, I heard this melody. And, and I just stopped praying and just started singing this melody. I just started singing it. And all of a sudden, a mighty presence, like it was, I could, the tangible presence of God in my car. I didn't feel down anymore. My spirit was so uplifted, you know, and I was like, man, this song. But then I realized I didn't even understand what I'm singing. So when I got to work, I called a colleague of mine. I know that, I, I actually, I knew that that Enkwenye was Ewe. Mm. Because I had heard it growing up, there was, there was a song, um, you know, that we used to sing like that. So I called my friend and I said, I asked her, I said, what does Enkwenye Yehovah mean? And she said that um, his name is Jehovah. His name is Jehovah. So I came home, I prayed over it. I kept singing the song. I kept singing the song and then the Holy Spirit dropped the lyrics. You know, so then I started singing it. Um, your name is great, so powerful. A strong tower, my hiding place. Mm. When all has failed and hope is lost, I will lift my voice and declare, Enkwenye, 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 Yehovah. Okay, I, I wasn't expecting that answer. And I'm quite mm. flawed because... 
our God is a God. He's an international God. Like he's the God of the universe. So language is not even a barrier. But yeah. I'm, I have a small portion of Ewe in, in me. My mom's dad is Ewe, but I do nothing about language. And Emmanuel always laughs at me when I say F1 or Wezon, but I don't know anything. But the, the song itself really speaks to your spirit. And I think that's why our God is so powerful because we don't have to package him in a way to understand him because we can't anyway. But I just thank God for your life and, you know, even coming about the song that the Holy Spirit ministry, um, sometimes we wait for the beat to give us a vibe or it's mm. not about the spirit behind mm. the song. And yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm thanking God for you. Okay, this is, this has been a lot of pressure for me to get this so together, so we're just improvising. So vibe with me. Enjoy sure. the time. <laughs> so I want to speak about um some of the platforms that you've been on. Um, tell us about one platform you've probably been on that you you weren't really expecting, but God made a way, um, you know, for you, and that maybe changed your perspective your perspective on ministering or what ministering was. I know you mentioned that um from yourself you started focusing on God, but was there ever an experience where you said God? I'm inadequate in the situation. What, what do I do and how do I go about this, this sort of challenge? Oh, there have been several. Mm -hmm. um, several. And I think one that comes to mind, this is very personal, but I'll share it because I know somebody's going to be blessed by this. Oh, um, over, I think about 11 or 12 years ago, my mom passed away. And when my mom passed away, I was six months pregnant. Wow. And um, I, in, in that pregnancy, I was having some challenges, you know, um, some complications. So my doctor told me that I couldn't travel to go and bury my mom. I prayed over it and um, I, I told God, I said, God, if it's your will, make a way. Um, I felt in my spirit a release to go. Um, prior to me going to the funeral, I had a dream, a very disturbing dream where um, I, you know, my pregnancy had been affected, you know, in a negative way. Um, I prayed over it. I said, God, you told me that I could go, so I'll still go. I traveled to Ghana. Now, when I got to Ghana about two Two days after I got to Ghana, I I saw what a pregnant woman wouldn't want to see. Mm. That indicated that I was, you know, going to lose my pregnancy. Mm. I couldn't feel my baby moving. I, you know, and, and everything indicated that I was going to lose this pregnancy at six months. And I remember at that time, I got on my knees. I couldn't even tell my father because I know he'd be so distraught. Mm -hmm. So I told my sister, my younger sister, and she gave me um, a CD of Covenant Keeping God by um, uh, Sonny, uh, Dr. Sonny Berger. Yeah. So I went on my knees. I kept playing this song, and I told God, and I said, God, I am... I am helpless in this situation. There's nothing I can do. And I was even scared in Ghana to go see a doctor because I didn't want them to tell me what, you know, they could tell me. I didn't want to hear that. And that's one thing about me when it comes to faith, uh, my ear gate, I'm very protective about my, mm. of my ear gate. Yeah. So I prayed over it. I kept singing that song and I said, God, I have no God but you. I came here to bury my mom. I refuse to lose my pregnancy. I cannot do this. You have been with me from time past. I have come to this point where I truly need you. Come through for me. My darling, all throughout the time that I was in Ghana, my baby never moved. I kept seeing the discharge. I was like, what is going on? We buried my mom, and then I got on the plane and came back. When I came back, I knew I had prayed. I knew I had invoked the covenant. I called my, my um, doctor, and I said, I need to come in now. So I went to see my doctor. 
they did the sonogram and this was a nurse practitioner she said i, I don't hear anything i'm sorry you know um I, I don't hear anything and i think your fears are going to be confirmed <laughs> and i told god i said god that's not what you told me mm. Mm. Yeah. If you are truly the covenant keeping God that my mom told me about, she may not be alive, but I have heard her talk about you. I have experienced you myself and I know you exist. And I know you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above what I can even imagine or think of. Mm. The power that you have, God, supersedes the power of anything. Yes. So if you are God, come through. Yes, Lord. She told me she couldn't hear anything. So I told her, can I get a second opinion? So the doctor herself, the, the, the obstetrician herself came in. And then she started. She was like, I don't, I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. I said, keep looking. Keep hearing. You will hear something. Immediately she was like, oh, I hear something faint. Jesus. Yes. And I said, what is that? And she said, wait a minute, wait a minute. So she started and then, oh my God, all of a sudden I could hear my baby's heart beat. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Like, you know, it was so loud and I was like, yes, indeed, you are the covenant keeping God. You know, there's, there's got to be a time when we've got to have this... Uh, 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 reckless faith mm. you know yeah. you, we've got to come to the point where we we let people know that the god we serve is real and i believe the body of christ is coming to that point where we will begin to see not mm. only because we've read it in the bible yes. but we are be going to mm. see the supernatural works mm. of god like he did in the time of the children of israel Amen. If only we will believe, and if only we will keep his commandments, mm. we will see his hand like never before. Amen. My Amen. daughter is alive now. She is 12 yes. years old now. Wow. Very what if I her. had not stood on God's word and I had mm. not had faith in the Lord? My God, we have allowed things to slip from our hands because of lack of faith. Mm -hmm. it's time to stand up as children of god our god is still able to make the lame walk Amen. Amen. our god is still able to make the dead rise yes, our god is still able to heal stage four cancer yes lord when i was Amen. recording yahweh i remember the day before i went into the studio to do um, uh, my lead vocal and uh, one of my friends called me and said my mom has just been diagnosed with stage four cancer I told her, I said, hold on to the word. Mm. Mommy will pull through. He said it was dying. So when I was recording the song, the song was a prayer for me. And I was telling God, I remember, I was just meditating on this and just telling God. I said, Yahweh, Yahweh, you are the covenant keeping God, Yahweh. Yahweh. So there will be situations when we, 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 we will get into mm. But remember that there's a covenant between you and God. That's right. He, he, he allowed his only begotten son to come and die for you and I. Mm. Why do you think he will leave you hungry? Mm. Keep hoping. Keep praying. Keep believing. Mm. Keep being consistent. Keep being persistent. Mm. You will see the hand of God. The Amen. fact that somebody died of that condition does not mean that another person would die of that same condition. Exactly. That is what we need to come to realization of. Mm -hmm. God is still in the business of doing miracles. That's right. He will never break his covenant. He said he will never alter it, though, his words that have gone out of his mouth. Never mm -hmm. alter it. Mm. The same way he, he, he spoke it is the same way it will be manifested. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 What, what a testimony.
what a testimony. I believe there's someone here I mentioned earlier that one of our uh, dear um, spiritual fathers, Reverend Dr. Samuel Bento, always says that somebody's testimony is your prophecy. Prophecy. So just because something has happened to someone, doesn't necessarily will happen to you, but by faith, if you believe that you're waiting for something or you need something, God will do it for you. I believe that in due time, of course, when my children come by the grace of God, that the same faith that you even had during that time to guard your ear gates, to yes. guard what you heard, the openings that we that we give access to the enemy by people that we probably even know. Mm. And I believe our sister Lauren, Miss Kalor Venture said, stubborn faith. Then, that's right moving. you said i'm not moving reckless mm. faith. i'm even encouraged yeah, yeah. we stand i'm i'm really encouraged and i pray you all are encouraged our brother Emmanuel versus covenant keeping god yes lord um sister lauren is engaged in her sing preach um and chadish music says amen amen i'm sure everyone is engaged in her. wow Emmanuel, have you got anything to ask about yeah um woman of god in fact i'm short of words for this testimony but i think this was meant to happen it's not just happening yeah god knows what he's doing mm -hmm. but um, a quick question so in the gospel fraternity what have been your major challenges as a minister in 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 the gospel um fraternity i believe the uh, the biggest challenge is support every minister talks about it every minister talks about it there, there there's there's this um spirit let me put it that way because we 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 we're not wrestling against flesh and blood what we do is more spiritual than physical Mm -hmm. And and a lot it, 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 it pains me that a lot of people do not realize it. Um, and and the lack of support sometimes um, we we have this notion that if I help this person, this person will become more known than me. You know, mm -hmm. we need to move past that. Yeah. yeah. God is not coming back for a dismembered body. Mm -mm. Or for a dismembered bride, he's coming back for his bride without spot or wrinkle. We need to be one, otherwise, we will never be able to preach the gospel the way it's supposed to be preached. That's right. So, if I support another minister, it doesn't mean that I'm putting myself down. One day, somebody told me, I, look, I looked at your Facebook page. You seem to be sharing everybody's uh, 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 music video. You don't promote yourself at all. You know, we are all working for one God. Mm. That's right. I, I, I don't see if, if God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit are one. Why can't we be one? That's right. You know, and one thing I've come to realize, and a lot of people probably don't know this, but sometimes in supporting somebody's ministry, your ministry also grows. People get to know you through someone else's ministry. So blessing somebody or supporting somebody doesn't mean that you are actually putting yourself down. May the Holy Spirit open our eyes. May the Holy Spirit guide us, be our only guide, not human wisdom. Amen. 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 And I believe that this will be nipped in the bud. I believe so. Support each other. Amen. We must support each other. We must support each other. My ministry, I know from God, is for me to be able to bring together worship ministers and we build the altar of worship. Yes, amen. That I know. And that is what I will work passionately towards. Amen. Wow. Wow, that's great. That's great. Uh, when I heard you even mentioning that um, you grew up under the feet of um, Reverend Sam Kwanchayankra, I, I was even thinking very soon we are going to see a collaboration with you and M MOG. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. In God's own time. In God's own time. Yeah, yeah, you know? it's, 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 in God's own time. But, um, Mommy, 
what has been the journey so far like mm. with with the covenant keeping god what are we expecting after this covenant keeping god and how has the journey been you know um the journey has not been smooth mm. I, I will be honest with you anybody who says that you know their journey is smooth i mean there may be people like that but i believe um i've been through ups and downs i've been through the valley i've been through turmoil i've been through the wilderness and i know how it feels to be there if david had never gone through the wilderness experience he wouldn't have been the king that he was preach so um, I believe that God took me through all this to prune me and mold me into what I am today. Mm. There are certain things that I'm very sensitive to when a minister is going through it because I've been through it. Mm. Anybody who's not been through the wilderness cannot show you the path through the wilderness. Wow. Nobody can show you where or your destination if they have not been through that path themselves so like a song that a songwriter said i thank god for the mountains i thank god for the valleys yes. i thank him for all that he has brought me through there's been serious challenges where times at times i felt like giving up and in fact i did mm. you know but the way maker god the covenant keeping god brought me back on this path and i want to speak to somebody whose uh, ministry has lingered for a long time mm. i am in my mid 40s right. and um people are now beginning to see my ministry blossom mm. i don't consider it as being late i believe god uh, 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 planted and purposed it for such a time as this yes esther was never early to get to the the, the palace yeah. She was never late to get to the palace. She was there at the right time, at the appointed time. Mm. When the fullness of time had come. Mm. And that's what somebody needs to realize. When the fullness of time comes, my darling, nobody can stop your, your, your mm. movement. Nobody can stop the speed. Amen. You will get to your destination. Amen. Wow. Well, talking talking about ups and downs, I, I was just looking at Joseph. At a point, he was in a pit. The yeah. next moment, he was in a palace, which is like up. Like when you are in a palace, like everything is like oh. Mm. But from there, he went to prison, mm -hmm. and from there, he became a prime minister. Thank you. And I'm like, what you you just said that the time he has purposed for you mm, would yes. definitely come that's so great that's mm. so mm. encouraging but and and, and yeah. minister let me say this to encourage somebody when when god called abraham and told him that he would be a father of nations Ab abraham didn't have any child mm, my god when he said he would be oh my 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 Hi. Bro, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise, my God. Yeah. So when, wow. when, when, when Abraham when God told Abraham he'll be a father of nations, he didn't have any child. Hmm. But look at how God kept that covenant. Hmm. You see, so it, your situation right now may not look like what God told you. Joseph saw in his dream that the, the, the moon and the stars were bowing to him. Mm. So I'm sure when they put him in the pit and then took him to prison, he was like, what is this? I mean, this is not what I, I was expecting. This is not, no, 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 no. But God knew what he was doing. You know, a couple of days ago, God was ministering to me, and and that 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 phrase that I will make you. Eh? When God tells you that He will make you, it is not always a smooth thing. Mm -mm. When the clay is on the potter's wheel, mm. when the clay is on the potter's wheel and the potter is molding it, 
it is not really all that smooth but the end result ah, if i take my 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 fabric to the the dressmaker and i stand there and i see her cutting it i'll be like eh, what what do you think you are doing <laughs> but the end result mm, mm, be consistent mm. and persistent just wait on god my god he will make you when god says he will make you he will make you yeah, wow my god. Wow. When god wow. says he wow. will make you he will make you um ladies and gentlemen once again this is gospel single review <laughs> With your host, Pastor Kirsten Abuaji. And today happens to be one of those days. I put Emmanuel and Desiree on the spot. Uh, I'm telling you, you see, um, I believe in the move of the spirit. I was having a chat with with my dear sister, um, Akosia, and, and I call her soft mommy. She wants me to call her Minister Ba. Um, she's full of the word and I, I was just going through the the kind of interviews going to happen then all of a sudden i was like no i have to let desiree and emmanuel take over and minister is amazing the way they've handled the program i mean it, it has taken some burden off me and, and i believe that from time to time these guys are going to be hosting this program for me to be free thank you so much thank you thank you so much but you see i've seen you have seen another great man so there we are gosh. not living now we want my to we want to. I, I i i i called my big brother could i said actually i was calling um big brother he is he's working on a song for me so when i called him and then he told me oh i've seen you you're about to interview Minister Kosia, I will not go into it. Minister, uh, Big Brother Koda, who is uh, Minister Kosia to you? Talk to us. <laughs> oh, that's my dear sister-in-law. <laughs> wow. Yes, that's, that's my uh, wife. Are you now seeing him? <laughs> <laughs> For real. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, also, so let me let me let me chip in and tell you something really funny. Um, when my son was younger, right, he went to Ghana, mm. and um, uh, when he got to Ghana, he never had a, a, a problem. I wasn't there with him, mm. but because my younger sister was there, he he would look at my younger sister. I think at that at that time he was only a year old. He would look at my younger sister and, and he had this, you know, they said he had this funny face. And he'd be like, wait, is this my mom or not? Because at that time, the, the resemblance was there. So he he latched onto my sister like it, my sister was his mom. My God. You know, it's, my it's God. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and true, when, when Big Brother told me um, when we were speaking and then I look at the um, both of you, the face, and I saw the similarities. I was like, wow. I'm so happy. <laughs> but Big Brother, it's so nice to have you here. Um, what you do so you have to me. say to um, your own sister-in-law with this great piece of music that she has come out with? Um... You know, it's 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 funny, but um, I through 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 the lessons God has taught me in ministry, and I'm not too old; I'm barely getting to forty three. But um, I started when I was ten, mm. so it gave me a little bit of a head start. Um, and so I have seen quite a bit. Uh, I've been part of um, Pastor Joe Beecham's ministry before he even became Pastor Joe Beecham. When wow. when when he was with us as a drummer here in Takradi, and I have seen Auntie Amy Newman's ministry. Reverend Charlie Sam have been part of Leo Kain, Zuta Aikinano, quite a couple. So. I have I have seen how God does it in different styles in people's lives, but I think one thing remains the same: that 
you know, I was, I was, I was telling somebody teasingly that God himself says in scripture that though the vision tarry. So he now he knows about the fact that sometimes he has this uh, tendency of making things tarry a bit. He said mm. it himself. So, <laughs> so that you are, you are not, you are not like thinking that, ah, this is out of the blue. Things mm. that are that. Mm. And mm. yes, there are times when God will give you and he calls it God's speed. It's there. And, and the overtaker's anointing is there. But if we look at how it appears in the Bible, it's not a frequent thing. Mm. Elijah was not overtaking chariots the whole of his ministry. <laughs> he mm. gave me one bit, then he overtake, he overtake a chariot to make a statement. Mm. But under normal circumstances, everything God wants it to go through process. process. And he told, um, he told Noah, he said that seed time and harvest time will forever remain mm. so god mm. wants us to go through the prayer room mm. before he starts manifesting the miracles of speech he wants god. you to get deep in sowing seeds of reading the word mm. before he gives you that one viral song and then you think that it's your english teacher's semantics and uh, and how to put uh, rhymes together that is at work he wants you to cause of the miracle mm. so he wants you to do seed time and mm. you know, the very the very interesting thing is that um at the end of the day and this is not going to say will be a bit volatile but forgive me at the end of the day the, the people whose ministries I admire are not really the loud ones. And I'm not speaking about any Ghanaian. You see, I, I admire the ministry. My, my friend, he calls it, he calls it the civil service anointing. Mm. Oh, 1980, the oil is there. He's still ministering. 90, he's there. 2000, he's there. And it's a consistent flow of oil. And there are people too, who have spiked mm. because of the politicians' anointing. And no, no, four years, be a nanya me sane also. Four years, be a no, you are getting mm. where there are spikes in ministry. You hear that, oh, some guy became, he sang some one song, be and we sang some, and then you don't hear from yeah. him again. But you see, when we walk with the Lord in the oh. light mm. of His word, of his the word. glory He sheds on our way while we do His good will, He abides with us still. Yeah. Mm. And what we are looking for is abide. And yes, a abide. Abide. Mm. Oh my God. What a word. Mm. You're getting me. So to me, when, when I'm talking to any artist that is maybe now entering the social media space or that kind of thing, I tell the person that there are two roads. Mm. You can pay bloggers, you can pay radio presenters. Put your stuff everywhere and become an uh, say, internet sensation in a part in a matter of months that road works and i am not uh, i'm not calling that road evil it's it works but then there's the other road too of waiting for god to announce you and sit you on on on, on, a, on a on a donkey and announce you you are getting the thing but that one takes god's timing and timing. i prefer the second one because first one it doesn't last mm. it doesn't last wow it doesn't last wow so unfortunately i'll still present you the two roots and i'll and allow you to to decide <laughs> because Charlie, also for, also for, let's be honest <laughs> not everybody has that witty spirit that's right mm. To, to some people, they want to pay the bloggers and Charlie. Mm. Everyone is mentioning their name and it gives them some adrenaline. Mm. And let me not kill your vim. If that's what to make you happy, then you're here. But it's not the same anymore. It is well. <laughs> it is well. It is well. My God, my God, my God, my God. <laughs> So, big brother, uh, I, I can't thank you enough. Now, your own sister-in-law is here. Is there any question you would like to ask her 
regarding her ministry so far? <laughs> well, that's a good one. Um, mm. Okay, so again, let me go back to scripture. So there was this man that sat by this pool, and um, Jesus approached the man. Mm. And I remember, and then Jesus asked the man, he said that, can I do for you? And the guy started the whole chronicle of, you know, la last year I was here, when I wanted to enter the water, someone pushed me, and I didn't enter the water. And then last year, someone said, last year, and then he went ranting on, and then Jesus said, oh my guy, oh, my guy, I asked a question. I said, what can I do for you? For you, my and God. In that moment, he spoke and said that, oh, but I want to walk. He said, yes, that is the thing that I've been asking you, mm -hmm. not what has been happening in the previous. So I think sometimes... Um, we, we must speak the things that we want to see in our ministry be. Mm -hmm. You see, so I don't, I don't, I mean, and, and I love to be, I love to be very honest with God and tell God that God, I, I don't, like the last time I was praying, I told God that child, any door that is mm. going to open, that is going to turn me into one arrogant fool, that things that he knows at all, mm. close, mm. That mm. close that door. And I want to be here with you wow. when I'm 60 and still be your boy. Mm -hmm. Maybe My a gray-haired boy, you are getting it, mm -hmm. but still your little boy, you are getting it. <laughs> so I would ask my sister-in-law yeah. that, what is the one thing that is on her heart that if she stood before the throne and God said that, okay, Mr. Dakwa, you have one shot, what do you want from me in ministry? Oh. Hmm. What's the oh. question? <laughs> 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 you know, that was going to throw some question that was going to clean his speech. Hey! Yeah. Let, so, so let me put it, uh, Big Bro, mm. let me put it this way. So, not, um, on on Sunday, as I was in church, okay, I, I told God one of the prayers that has been on my heart, and, and especially on that Sunday, was Lord. Be glorified in my rising. Amen. In my rising, be glorified. Mm -hmm. So I would say anything that will cause God to be glorified in my rising, oh. do it. Mm. Wow. That, you know, everything I do, I've come to the point, I've come to realize that, look, even Jesus walking on this earth was to glorify God. Mm. Mm. God gave him a name that is above every name so that he would be God will be glorified. Mm. If you read the scriptures. Yeah. So I I in my rising in everything that I do, let God be glorified. Wow. So anything that will glorify God in my rising and in my ministry, that's what I need. Mm. Wow. Wow. My God. Wow. That's that that's 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 a deep answer. Oh, very deep. <laughs> <laughs> what a question and what an answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, also can I say something small? Because you know, I've done this studio thing since two thousand and two, eh? Mm. So I have I have heard a couple of reasons, and you'll be amazed what some gospel singers their vision is. Mm. It will scare you. Mm. You know, I had one person tell me that Charlie, me the dinner and me hell. Who say? Wow. Oh yes, I know. Okay, I can speak to him. Say Koda, you he see can be out here be a catch him. But see a bunny man, you be to me a jiding. Even sometimes, sometimes um, we try to beautify our answer. I'm not yeah. saying what mm -hmm. Minister mm -hmm. Kusia said is that, but most gospel artists, we try to be, oh, why are you doing this? I want the kingdom of God to be fully part mm. But <laughs> deep down, now, come on, move power as a chef. We may cut that down, crowd. We cut that down. <laughs> 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 
Yes. Yeah. But God will arrange a scenario for you that will will. You see, I think for every balloon, eh, your needle is there. It's just a matter of time. Mm. <laughs> wow. Every wow. balloon needle, it's just a matter of time. <laughs> Big brother, I can you. I can you. Every balloon, there is a needle for it. <laughs> <laughs> Me bom pa ese sa pa ni eno enya me ngo me da. You know why? Because um, you see that which you haven't trusted God to master, one will. He will mm. create a situation where you be you you be stretched to your wit's end. Mm. You are getting anything? I I I I have been to events where the event organizer is simply dishonest. Oh, and I have learned over time to know that you are a representation of Christ. Mm. It, you need to hold your emotions together. Obi, who is the only event organizer in Nigeria, Bonti, Namu, in Semanwa? How you sure they know what you are talking about? Mm. You get a thing. Yeah. So if you haven't mastered that thing, where people sometimes want to talk to you by heart or sometimes people want to just be arrogant and there are several kinds of people on TP isn't it? They are dosu. Mm. Mm. You are mm. I remember one British Airways attendant that I was helping me put my guitar in the plane one day and then the person told me that I couldn't put it up there. I said, oh, it was fixed. And before you could tell, no, don't be silly. Listen to me. And you know, what can we Mm. Yeah, mm. Are you going to react in the plane and, and pull up a prank? And then the Lord is watching that. What will my boy do? You see, and some of the things that people say about us that we are not able to hold ourselves together. They move been all cross this one, KBC for more. Long time, long time. No, what we do at the one to social media, no job on the BL. Are you for real? Long time, for real. <laughs> that's ministry. That's, that's right. Mm. It is well. It is well. My goodness. Wow. It's always a joy to have Big Brother on Coda. And don't forget Thank my you. main guest is Minister Kosia Dankwa with her latest single, Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. And Chene did you make the air barrier, but Having Big Brother here, na there's Munyana will see. Um, <laughs> me per Big Brother, I share one experience of Fermo as a gospel musician. Na Unyayan Kasadi no NC on a brab, no di two or no any sister in law, a foot to mammy. It's answer, me name Sebe be a word, Runo. Be a why encounter there be a word that now kayao se rade mi huyanka but i know that him sad you know yem person me or gaston i don't want to be in it sana there's name or soft man means some person be tom into one experience in big brother called this life that you wouldn't love any gospel musician to fall into please Wow, <laughs> this question eh, is a, it's, it's a deep <laughs> one, but I'll answer it truthfully. Mm. Th- there was a particular event, mm. and me came, we'll be able to meet in Nigeria, but I won't confirm what it is. Mm. There was a particular event I knew in my spirit, man, that I wasn't supposed to be there for the event. Mm. Um, my, ma- my manager and uh, the, the person who was marketing my song at a particular point in time. And he said that if I don't attend that event, no, let me put in a positive. He says, if I attend that event, it will help the promotion of the particular song. And mm. I should be willing to do that for him so that he can also be able to market the song that I've given to him. Then my manager too came on my case and said, Sir, eh, but you see, every time then it's like Koda is a, the weird one, Koda doesn't want to be here, Koda doesn't want to be part of this, Koda doesn't senior man, can we just do this one for them? You know, 
And I sat down quietly and thought to myself, say, perhaps they are right. Maybe I must say anything. Mm. So you, this is just one event. Let me just, let me just go do this event and then, and then leave the place. When I was leaving Takradi for Accra, something was funny in my spirit. I still couldn't tell what it was. I, I got to the event, we did sound check and everything. Um, <coughs> 10 minutes before I was supposed to go upstage, a gun was pulled. Mm. And then there was some sh alleged shooting or whatever. There was chaos in the place. My They couldn't find where my guitar affects my one of my favorite things that somebody gave to me as a gift. We couldn't find where it was. Everybody was running for their lives. And I heard the Holy Spirit clearly tell me that leave this place. Mm. Mm. Now, when I, I, I took a step and I was leaving, I got a call from one of my school fathers. Um, he's in Ghana. He's called uh, Yawin Chidazi. Mm. Um, senior Yaw called me and said, Kofi Ewehin. Let me see senior but me me fi venue wa mo ko fi be be wo bia fi ho mo si si a no ko fi be be wo bia fi wo and this is this is my senior that uh, is my senior for life i mean is somebody who is a mentor to me since the day i stepped on the infant film campus till now mm. that god uses to give me divine instruction and somehow he knew i was there i don't know how mm. but somehow he knew i was there and called me around if I'm not exaggerating, he called me around 11 or 12 midnight and said, Kofi, I went in. Why would he be asking me where am I am? <laughs> but when I got to the hotel room, wall, I was sad. I was super sad because I told myself that ah, a grown boy like you, you make people influence you and you do something against <laughs> what God told you. <laughs> <laughs> And I was 10 minutes away from going on stage. Wow. When that wow. incident happened. So people have spoken about that incident, but a lot of people don't know I was there. Mm. And so I have learned that whether it's a manager, whether it's a friend, everybody's voice is welcome, but it's welcome subject to what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Oh, amen. Because at the end of the day, if I had been silly and I had lost my life that night or whatever, it would have been my mistake. Mm. Mm. That affects Rama and the kids because the husband wants to please people. Wow. see, that is one advice I beg you, I'll give you that. Listen to God. See, I like what Mary told the people at the feast in Canaan. She said that that's my boy. Mm. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Do it. Mm. My God. But also, that is my experience. <laughs> <laughs> yes, wow. sir. This, this is. It this. doesn't leave good memories mm. with me at all. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. That's. Way and summer, what you know, I take a deep breath. It doesn't mm -hmm. leave memories coming from the camp of the no. big brother himself no. called that. No. Most of the times he ting yang koponi, but a nipa a diatrin so too might say, yeah, you yeah. push it nyame voice away and we want to yeah. please men. And I believe uh minister Kosia uh Ebefa Simi Minsumafa Emmanuel Befa Des. Um answer I be wrap it up. Minister Kosia, and they are in Shira Koda Kayahu, a dear now so overcatching and some are wrapping up. Oh, I, I, I just I just want to express my appreciation. Um, By the way, that, that was a surprise. That was a surprise. Surprise. Uh, <laughs> he mentioned it. He mentioned it. That he had a surprise. And I was like, ah, what is this surprise? I've been thinking about this surprise. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know, um, Koda has taught me a lot. Mm. A lot in ministry. I, I, 
apart from the conversations that we have, no, I watch the way he does things. Mm. You know, sometimes, no, ebi ohonoma me me ya die, but me shena se enye iya. Sometimes me di me di nyama su su nyama oye. You know, to see, am I in? You know, am I being aligned with what God? And and one very important thing that He's taught me is patience. Mm. Oh. When you are patient, now uh, it gets to a point where God will. When God gives you what you've been asking for, it's it's more beautiful. Mm. You know, and and more fulfilling. Mm. Mm. He taught me patience in so many ways and also taught me excellence. That's right. So, oh yeah, the alcohol was yeah, it will result in excellence. Mm. And that's how you, you make impact also through excellence. Mm. You know, so I just want to thank him so much, not only him, but his entire team. They've been so instrumental in in you know the release of uh, Yahweh. Um, Yahweh began uh, with uh, my my brothers in Accra, mm. and Pastor Augustine, I was telling you about it the other day. Yeah. When Koda got it, and I I told the guys in Accra that I wanted Koda to mix and master it. I remember you asked me why is it that Koda didn't start, you know, the whole thing. That's right. And I explained to you that one thing that I learned from Koda, and I remember one um chat with Daniel Jackson where they mentioned that thing that the person who uh, um, uh, produces it no and your man is a master no mix it mm. you know we have to come to that point where we realize okay if this person would do a better job with this and he gave instances where some of his songs you know were even mastered by different yeah. people yes. you know so um the, the, the whole team has been great with yahweh it was mixed and mastered by him um and and uh at codex studios they did so much so much so much for me even the video by um mac willis you know everything yeah. bro, it's I, i'm so 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 thankful and grateful for, for for what you, you've done and and the results are you know um people a lot of people called me and asked me how did this song get to be like this mm -hmm. You know, um, the song in itself, in its raw form, no, uh, it was nothing like this. Mm. So I'm glad, you know, and, and obedience is key, ministers. Mm. Mm. Obedience is key. When the Holy Spirit tells you something, listen. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will speak through someone. See, mm. Koda, thank you so much. And all the team, the entire team of Koda Studios um all of them i can't mention all their names but I and know. also <laughs> and also everyone all the the team you know in accra, in accra. also did a Mr. great Kofi job Master kofi uh chigozi uba um who programmed it um and all the you know uh, bvs i yeah. think omari kisi was on it oh was he well, yeah, that's, that's what I first I mentioned, I was like, hey, I am humbled. And <laughs> it's, it, you know, it, it, that's what God does. That's right. You know, that's what that when God does things, he does it in his own way. And it's always beautiful. So thank you so much. And and, and yes, everyone Jesus, who supported me. <laughs> we thank God, we thank God, we thank God. We bless God. So many stuff now no song in our platform um online shops that everybody can get, right? Yes, sir. Yes, we, sir. So we, Spotify, we iTunes, um, Amazon Music, name it. Yeah, it's there. Mm. Wow, we bless God. We bless God. And and before we go, hey, there's an Emmanuel. I just want to say a big thank you. I know you guys in a hurry to leave, but call that please. Please, these guys, um, I, I don't know. I, I want them to ask you one thing. I don't know. You might, is this your first time meeting Koda? Pastor, I guess. Who's his friend? I don't think I've met him before. Oh, he's also called Koda. This one. Pastor, I guess. Let me tell you a secret today. Tell me. 
my brother, uh, I have one brother, um, Brother Derek, mm-hmm. the kids, mm-hmm. early, they are very young. Mm. They call, they ask me, uh, are you a twin brother to Koda? The man who <laughs> sang, things are not the same anymore. Every day when they see me, they are asking me, are you a twin brother? Okay, okay, you <laughs> might, you might, you might hold on. Hold on, my main show on the on big brother anymore somewhere. <laughs> You know, <laughs> so let me tell you the joke here. <laughs> so, um, my mom is originally Uwusuwe. That's my mom's surname. Mm. But after grandpa died, they carried all our things away. So I don't know my relatives who are the Uwusu. Anything <laughs> <laughs> is possible. Wow. Wow. No, I don't know them. Wow. I don't know them at all. So anything, every time I hear somebody <laughs> call the Uwusu, I go like, hey. It's <laughs> 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 oh wow. Ima. Yeah, I'm I I know but I just want to say I'm humble. I'm humble. Thank like you. today, today, today has been a great day for me meeting such um a living legend. Mm. Seriously, God bless him so much. And as you said, with your will be and we will connect. That's right. God bless you. <laughs> Des, you are into music. Um, it's an honor having Minister Kosia and Big Brother Koda. What do you want to ask or say to Koda? Honestly, I'm in shock, first and foremost. And when I'm in shock, those who know me, I've become a mouse. So I'm like, <laughs> so I just want to acknowledge, of, his, of course, Minister Koda, God bless you for God surprising you. us. I know you came to surprise your sister, no, but you didn't be mm-hmm. surprised myself and I'm sure probably my God. Um, I've been yes. blessed by your music. Thank you. Like, again, the speech is not coming, but just God bless you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Maybe the next time the words will fall more and then we can talk properly, but we're still <laughs> registering. But thank you so much for joining You're us. You're welcome. And just, yeah, I'm grateful to God for your life. You yeah, me ain't you know, but, the, the, the vaccine was playing games with the body, so I want to sleep small. And I ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you had yours today, right? No, yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. So, oh, okay. Uh, you know, mm. that would be, be great. Wow. You'll be fine, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, before, before we wrap up, Big Brother will lift a prayer, but I've seen one comment from Lois, a great Christian blogger. And I want Koda to comment on it, then you you okay, finalize it. Okay. It says collaboration will be nice. What do you think, Sister Akosia, Augusta, myself, and Big Brother Koda? Oh wow! Oh. <laughs> 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 what a powerful we... collabo! <laughs> any any time the Lord is ready, we are ready. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. Lois, big brother answer. I see no shaking, crying to enche Obeti and Kawai. We have a friend that they quartet. That's right. <laughs> wow, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is Gospel Single Review with the host pastor, Gaston Abuajin. We had a surprise today having big brother on. And of course, my main guest, Minister Kosia Dankwa, with her latest single, Yahweh. It's so unfortunate we have to wrap up, but I know you've been blessed. I know you've been blessed. Sister Akosia Anson, God bless you. And everybody who is watching us, I want Big Brother to lift a prayer. But before that, um, Minister Akosia Nyamin Shrao. Nyamin Shrao said, and they with me, Basso. My name say Beyonce, Big Brother, the Bumpa, and Uo, Bia, Bedana, Sia. Um, not one man, I could not be big brother. A vampire, am I? Before I leave, I just want to say thank you to everyone who supported um, me in ministry. Um, if, if I talk about where I started from, we'll never finish. But I just want to thank everyone 
the words you spoke over me, um, you know, how you contributed to me being what I am today. I really, really appreciate it. And God bless you all. And I pray that we will continue to glorify God in our ministries. Amen. 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 God bless you so much. We continue to glorify God in our ministries. Big brother, would you lift a prayer for us, please? Yes, sir. We are praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless and honor you this afternoon. We are gathered here in your name as minstrels and as persons that you have placed in the music ministry and in the arts, oh God. We pray, O oh God, this day, and we, we bless you for even counting us worthy. There are persons that can do and we have been given this gift so freely, O oh Jesus. And you have used this gift to even be a financial blessing to some of us to be able to take care of our families and beyond. We give you praise, we give you thanks for it. We walk this pilgrim's journey not knowing what tomorrow brings, but the good thing is that we know who created tomorrow and who is in charge of tomorrow. And so we commit our tomorrow before you that 30 years from now, 40 years from now, may we still be counted worthy to be called sons and daughters of the living God. Amen. May we remain humble. May we remain servants. May we remain students, oh Jesus. May we always remember that without you, we are nothing. May we remain plugged in your side forever, oh God, always listening to you, for instructions on what the next move is. Above all, we pray that your Holy Spirit would always be with us and lead us and bring yes, into remembrance the things that we have even forgotten, day-to-day -day instructions on how you would have us live our lives. Yes, In the midst of this pandemic, we pray and say, the Father, remember that we are children of the covenant. And mm. so everything that is concerning caution and everything that is concerning uh, exclusion, oh Jesus, be our portion in Jesus' name. We pray. The Amen. devil said to you that you have formed a hedge of, 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 of fire around Job, mm. his family, and everything that he owns. We pray that that shall be our testimony, yes. that you shall form a hedge as the mountains about Jerusalem, so you, Lord, will be round about us, yes. hiding us, oh God, in you. We give you praise and thanks for hearing our prayer. Yes. Bless our host. Continue to give him wisdom, insight, O oh God, and open doors unto him. Yes, Lord. That we more all have a testimony to say that great is thy faithfulness to us. We give you praise Amen. and thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 A big thank you to you, first of all, to the Almighty God. And secondly, Amen. big thank you to Minister Kosia Dankwa for coming on the show. And of course, Big Brother Koda, thank you so much for becoming a surprise package. <laughs> <laughs> what a package. At a point I was I was I was checking your test and the WhatsApp was still one like it wasn't double. So I was like, Where is Big Brother? <laughs> you got to read it and thanks be to God you came. Of course, my newest hostess, there's a rain. You did so amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she yeah, was yeah. great. She was great. She was great. <laughs> and of course, Emmanuel. You guys, I mean, the yeah. questions you were asking Minister Kosia was like mm. you had planned it all. Mm. Thank you so, so much. A big thank you to everybody that made it um, possible to come on. This Sunday, I'll be having a chat also with um, Pastor... Ferdinand Labi, a very great legend also in the musical industry. And so please join me this Sunday, 4 p.m. on Palm TV and on Facebook as well. And then we have the journey of Minister Ferdinand David Labi Matheson. A very long name. Meaning, baby, I'm a trash, but I'm a fine baby. I'm a show, baby. I'll leave you in the hands of this latest single coming from Minister Akosia Yahweh. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. God bless you. God bless you. God bless
of your promises remain the same. You never fail, Lord. You never change. Come on, keeping God. You are from age to age, oh Lord. You never change. All of your promises remain the same. You never fail, Lord. You never change. Yeah. That's who you are, that's who you are, 
You are the covenant keeping God, promise keeping.